The first time I met Peanut the orangutan was during his daily medical at the Sepalok Rehabilitation Center. He let me hold his hand from the outset through the whole process and we had a very strong connection. Look at that face. The Sepalok Rehabilitation Centre does a wonderful job in raising and caring for orphaned babies that are rescued from often life-threatening situations. Peanut was brought into Sepalok needing much care and attention to get him through his first important years as a baby. When he was first brought into the centre, he was terrified to climb. But the rehabilitation process had really started to kick in, so I was able to take him into the forest and climb in the trees with him. It was during that time playing in the canopy with him that he gave me that infamous hit over the head, which people haven't forgotten, and it went viral. Oh, oh that's not nice! Well <laughs> 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 oh, done! So it was really lovely to catch up with him again a year later. Now this is Peanut. If you remember last year, Peanut gave me one hell of a whack on the head as I was climbing in the trees with him. And look at him now, wow! Look at this fella. He's grown so much. He's out playing all the time, learning vital life skills, learning how to cope and climb in the trees and to think once upon a time this little fellow was terrified to cry, climb he used to scream when you put him on the little climbing frame and now he's as happy as anything swinging, swinging from the canopy this is amazing wow hello peanut oh it's so good to see you so good to see you he is incredible look at these hands and feet Absolutely amazing. No? He wants my microphone. I know you'd want my microphone. He is beautiful. Look at this beautiful face. Yes. Oh, Peanuts, so good to see you. But don't be hitting me over the head again. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. And when you see them like this, it just tugs at your heartstrings. He is. <laughs> you are so beautiful. Yes, you are. You are so beautiful. Look at the camera, Peanut. You're on film. Look, look, look. They are so clever, so clever. It was wonderful to take Peanut back into the forest again and encourage him to climb, a step closer to his complete rehabilitation. Okay, I'm gonna take Peanut into the forest now because he's gonna climb some trees. Come on, Peanut. Come on, Peanut. It's okay to take him, Bonnie. Come on, Peanut. Come on. I tell you, Peanut's quite heavy, actually. He was only three and a half kilos when he came in. I know he weighs a lot more than that now. Okay, this one. Okay, go, go, climb. It's amazing. It gives you such hope for the future to see them playing in the trees and learning how to climb.
he's so good at climbing now that he's so comfortable in the canopy swinging from tree to tree. But this year, you're not going to hit me on the head, are you? Oh, he's trying. Don't you see that? He tried. Go on. I think he remembers. Up. Oh, did that just fall out? Hang on here. Let me just try that again. There is a very famous saying in the entertainment business, never work with children or animals. And in this case, Peanut was a good example of that pulling off my microphone. Their little hands get everywhere. And even though they're babies, they are still incredibly strong. Here he is again, and he's not gonna whack me this time, but he's climbing like a champion. He loves the trees and swinging from the canopy like a real pro. So go on, keep going Peanut, good job. It's during this essential playtime that they learn from each other and older orangutans and really hone in on their natural instincts on how to build nests and how to forage for themselves. Playing with the babies in the forest is not only fun and absolutely adorable, but it also provides the perfect opportunity to document their development and make sure that they are developing the right life skills that they're gonna need later on in life to survive in the forest. These little baby orphans have been torn away from their mothers and so as you can imagine they are very needy and clingy for emotional support and security but we have to make sure we handle them as little as possible so we don't humanize them or alter their behaviors so they can return to the wild in the future. A question I get asked a lot is why focus on orangutans so much and not other animals that live in the rainforest? Well it's great to be able to use peanut to answer this question for you. So the question is why focus on orangutans when we could quite easily focus on elephants, rhinos and sun bears and any other animal that shares an ecological niche alongside this great ape. Well the crux of the matter is that rainforest is the preferred habitat of the orangutan and of course that we need for the global environment and the general health of the world. These are wide ranging animals which cover miles and miles of rainforest, foraging for hundreds of different types of plants and fruit. And so they're the perfect umbrella species and by protecting them, by extension we protect all the other animals and the rainforest that we need to regulate climate change. Their lives are in your hands, and we can all do our bit to help. Can't we, Peanut? Yes, we can, Peanut. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. There you go. Go climbing, yes, go climbing. You don't have to hang around me. Go on. Come on, Peanut. This way. Go on, come on. Come on. Go! <laughs> Off into the forest, come on, come on, go! Look at him, he just will not go. Climb! I feel like a proud parent right now. <laughs>